So we're going to talk about uh, uh, just how to introduce your dog to a crate. Uh, this is going to be our demo crate. There's a lot of different crates out there. Uh, what I've found that uh, a, crate that's a, little, a crate that's a little more enclosed, you know, these have ventilation holes in here and off to the sides. Uh, for a lot of dogs, tend to be a little bit better because they can feel a little more secure in there. Um, the wire crates that are uh, open, sometimes they're a little too open and, and it can make dogs feel a little bit um, nervous in there because they, um, you know, they just have these kind of wires surrounding them and it can make them feel a little bit uncomfortable. But whatever crate you choose, you just want to make sure you get the best one for your dog. Uh, we're going to run Sunny in, in here and, and uh, just show you how to introduce a dog to a crate. Uh, Sunny's had uh, crate experience before. Sunny, hey, I'm doing some shopping. Um, and basically how I start is I just open up the door, kennel, and I throw a piece of food in there. Um, crate, go home, whatever you want to say. Okay, come on. Um, and this is just how we start, just like a little obedience exercise. Kennel, over and over and over again. We want to do this uh, several times, just training. Even if your dog has been in the kennel before, it does help. Hey, kennel. And we just let them get comfortable with this. Going in, okay, come on out. Um, coming out, as the dog gets more comfortable, hey, kennel. Again, we're kind of giving that little pause between the command and then what we're doing to help them get in by throwing the food in there, hey. And now we're gonna try it without throwing the food in there. Kennel, yes, right? And now we start paying them for that behavior. So we've kind of faded the lure in the sense of at first he was being drawn in by the food. The food's going in there, he's chasing it, hey. And again, this is a dog who's had experience. We're just using him for demonstration purposes. Kennel. Yes. And he gets rewarded for performing the task. Um, but this is kind of the, the start to finish. So start. Hey. He gets in there. <laughs> Come on. We go kennel and we throw the food in. He gets in there. He gets the food. OK. He gets to come back out. Uh, if you want to, you can feed him a few treats while he's in there. Hey, kennel. Oh, it's a good boy. And just kind of make that a happy little place for them to go in and check out. Um, good things happen in there. Okay. And the progression, Sunny, is we want to just start cueing them. Kennel. Yes. So now we move into that progression where he goes into the kennel without the food being thrown in first. And then he gets rewarded for being in there. Good job, bud. And this might take you a few days uh, and uh, several sessions to get to with your dog. OK. Um, but once we're comfortable, he's going in on command, everything's good, uh, we can start uh, working on closing the door. Kennel. And dogs who have had experiences in here before um, that have, may have had bad experiences because of bad training in the past, um, this part might be the scary part. But the door closes, food goes in, so we make this door closing just a, a positive experience for the dog. Okay. I said okay, come on. Kennel. Ah, so boy, we can close up that door. He can get some food in there. And we just want him to get comfortable. We want to spend some time to where we can just get our dogs comfortable going in and out. Um, we put it on a cue. And, uh, and um, you know, this is a very helpful tool that we can use uh, for the management of our dogs in our home. Um, again, I use it a lot for traveling. You know, if I go, I do a lot of traveling with my dogs and I bring my uh, kennels along with me so that they can be in the, in the car. Uh, they ride in the car in their crates. Uh, when we go to hotels, uh, they'll, I'll, I'll bring the crates inside the hotels. Uh, you know, a lot of it's just for safety. If I leave my hotel room to go get a soda, I don't want a maid or somebody to come in and open my door and have my dog run out. Uh, sometimes even when you have the do not disturb signs, things happen. So um, this gives my dog uh, a safe place to be uh, where I can make sure he doesn't get in, into any trouble. Um, it also uh, allows me the opportunity to uh, uh, have something that my dog is comfortable with. So when I bring this from my home uh, to and I travel, uh, the dog has a place that he knows. So even though we're staying in different places, he has his own little place that he's always comfortable with traveling along with him. Um, OK. Let's do one more. Kennel. Oh, it's a good boy. And then. You know, when the dog gets comfortable, again, one of the mistakes that a lot of people make is they 
take the dog, um, they get the dog used to, a they, they put the dog in the kennel, and then they leave for work. Now the dog stresses. So what we want to do is uh, spend some time here. So that first couple of days where we're hanging out with our new dog at home, uh, we introduce the dog to the kennel, we do a few sessions with it, um, maybe we take them for a walk, we bring them back, they're a little bit tired, we put them in their kennel, we give them uh, something to chew on in there, and we watch TV, we take a shower, we do something so that the dog um, has some experience in the kennel and we're around if there's any problem so that we can address it. Um, now some dogs that come out um, that we adopt are gonna have problems with the kennel just due to, to bad training and, 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 and previous experiences. Uh, for me personally, uh, we have to really take the time with those dogs. Some of those dogs we have to work on, um, you know, we have to make sure that this gate doesn't close when they walk in. So we'll actually bungee the gate open or something so that the dog can go in and out and not have that gate accidentally close on them and, and, and throw a, a hitch in our, in our training program. Um, a lot of times if I have a dog that's had a really bad experience with kennels, I'll actually get a plastic crate and those plastic crates uh, come, come apart in half and I'll just use the bottom piece of the crate so there's nothing on there and I'll start this whole process with just that bottom piece of the crate so the dog actually doesn't have to go under anything and I'll work on that for a while and when the dog is comfortable there then I can go ahead and put that top on the crate and I leave the door off and I do the same thing I work on the dog going in there and showing the dog that this can be a pleasant experience um, going in hanging out in the crate um, for me, uh, I think crate training is vital to, um, to just dog training in general, owning a dog in general. Um, it helps us kind of prevent problems. So when we look at uh, how many dogs uh, get returned back to the shelters because uh, the owners didn't use a crate and the dogs uh, tore up the house or did some damage or they weren't able to manage uh, the dog's relationships when they're introducing them to other pets in their home, uh, it's, it, it's, it's, it's a really important piece to our training. Um, the other thing is, at some point, uh, whether you use crates or not, in the dog's life, he's gonna end up in one. The dog's gonna go into a vet clinic because of some reason, and if they have to stay overnight, they're staying in a, in a, a crate-like setup, and it's, it's horrible for a dog to be, number one, stressed because they're being put into a situation um, and they're a little uncomfortable, but then to also be stressed because they've got to learn how to deal with the crate in that situation. So for me, um, getting the dogs comfortable with it is gonna help out big time for the rest of my dog's life. So in closing, one of the things I wanna point out to people that are new to Liberty.com is our website is so big that when we put new things into the website, it, it kind of disappears into the abyss. And if you're new to Liberty.com, you may not realize that there's over a thousand videos that we've put together over the last 35 years. The vast majority of them are free. I recommend you go there, use the search function, find the videos that interest you, and see the quality of work that we have to offer for free.